The following is a production of the University of Minnesota, driven to discover. Well, what are you studying in college and where do you think that may lead you for the future? I study at Macquarie University and I'm doing my Bachelor's of Commerce in Professional Accounting and I'm in my third year. I also play professional cricket, so I want to pursue cricket as you know a career as well, if possible. Like I play for my passion and whatever happens, you know, I just got to see it from there. But I'm also interested in pursuing accounting, so probably child accounting, you know, or heading towards that line, yeah. Well, excellent. Yeah. Well, why did you decide to become involved with being a uh, peer study group? So I attended peer assisted learning sessions when I was a student at Macquarie. And um, I just understood that it was such a great initiative for students that was designed to help not only stay on top of the weekly content, but also make new friends. And one of the main tips or things I've noticed is you, you, got, you have to possess um, networking skills. That is to, you know, which again ties back to communication and, you know, um, trying to make connections as well. So I think um, I was really able to enhance those skills um, through the ten, tenants of uh, at peer assisted learning and so I, I also really help you know uh, I really I'm really happy when I um, help out other students and I, you know um, so I just want to you know in form of thank you just you know give it back to the students and um, help out them and try to direct them to, in the right path and hopefully it goes on for many generations. <laughs> well excellent uh, what course or courses do you support and why do you think that they're challenging for students? So um, I um, facilitate sessions for Accounting 100, which is the introductory, introductory accounting level, the foundations, and also business and corporations law, which is a two, second year unit. Um, so I, handling two contrasting units, I can see a lot of differences and challenges that are there. The accounting introductory level has to be done by almost every student at university. So I think you get a lot of students with different perspectives um, coming together, together and studying as a group. And so I personally learn some, some students might not really be interested in, in you know, having the, or having the same mindset as, as the others might have. So I think handling different students definitely uh, is a challenge. And for the other business and corporations law unit, it being a really dif different unit compared to the usual so it's it's the main unit you have to do as part of the BBA course or the professional accounting course so it's a really different unit compared to the rest of the accounting or management units and so students are overwhelmed by the fact that there's a lot of content to be covered I really enjoy um, facilitating those sessions because we use the case study framework which uh, really helps for the business and corporations law because law being a very subjective unit unit is definitely there's no right or wrong answer as long as you justify and have evidence to it so um, I think using the case study method and uh, the IRAC, IRAC structure, answering structure, definitely um, are one of the key takeaways from those sessions. Well, excellent. Well, where did you get the ideas for doing those uh, activities? Were those that were modeled for you by your teachers? As I said, I attended uh, the study sessions um, when I was a student as well. So I think, uh, and of course, from experience, um, from the tutorials and lectures, I really got to know that peer learning is a lot more effective when compared to individual study. We, we actually have a fun fact when we try to promote PAL saying one hour of PAL equals three hours of individual studies. Right. Um, so I, I can really relate to that because I feel I'm not really going through the content, but also I when I'm explaining to my peers or my friends, it, again, it's like a revision and you revise through the concepts again and it just... Um, gives you satisfaction that yep, you know the content and you're helping your friends as well. Well, what are you personally and professionally getting out of this experience that's gonna make a difference <laughs> down the line for you? I can see a lot of changes, especially being an international student. So I can reflect back on 2017 when I first came to Sydney. Um, I was um, really hesitant to ask questions or I was probably wouldn't say much introverted, but then I was just not really comfortable, of course, having that culture shock as well. But I feel pal, um, as well as the English speaking club sessions that I run have really helped me develop um, both the soft skills as, as well as the knowledgeable skills or the technical skills rather, uh, where because it's not just the students who learn from the sessions, but it's also me. I learn a lot from the students. I get different information, new information from, you know, the students as well. So I think communication definitely uh, is, a be, uh, is a big um, skill that I have enhanced and also um, just being open, especially Australia being a really open culture, you know, uh, country is uh, has definitely had a really big impact in developing my 
characters, definitely. Yeah, so well, I think nice communication one. and networking. Well, thanks for sharing your story with us Thank and so everyone much. who's listening. So best wishes for your future. Thank you very much.